Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Henderson has it. And fed forwards. Not an especially strong challenge. And Salah! Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal it is! But in all honesty, the keeper should have done much, much better. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area. And the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. And barring a miracle over the run-in, it looks pretty clear-cut in terms of who's going down now, Stuart. Well, unfortunately, Derek, the table doesn't lie. The teams in the relegation oh, sorry, Stuart, zone... Oh, look at this! Have... And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. He makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Keita, and it might be. In it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Can someone get on the end of this? A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. And space to cross it. Few can finish quite as adeptly as Harry Kane. A goal for him. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. An update to bring you from Vicarage Road. There's been a goal there, Alex. It's a goal for Leicester City. This... Is it going to be? Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Oh, 
Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. And it might be. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Alexander Arnold, Sadio Mane in the middle. Comfortable in dealing with the cross. He's in with a chance. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. Another more than effective night's work for Mo Salah. Your thoughts on his performance? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.